Disney princesses. Or when I was a kid, I thought it was Disney because the Y at the end of Disney looks like a P. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a P? Disney. Welcome to Disney princesses. So my goal for this create a sim video was to remake the Disney princesses, but more modernized and to look like actual sims. Now the past two create a sim videos that I did, I made them look like cartoons, which made them look a little bit like abominations. Hence the Powerpuff Girl nightmare. But this time I kind of wanted to go more relaxed, have a bit more fun, make them look like sims, but like they're in the modern day. Are there any princesses that take part take blah 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 are there any princesses that take place in the modern day no right like they're all like old why can't we have a modern day jean wearing princess or is that why disney channel exists remember the princess protection program now you may not know this about me but i was a disney child okay disney was my favorite thing when i was a kid and my teacher would ask me what do you want to be when you grow up i said a princess and then when i was a child i proceeded to google how to become a princess and was looking for single princes around the world and obviously that didn't go into fruition which is fine i don't think i want to be a princess anymore however i was obsessed with disney princesses and going back to watch disney movies makes me question why was i so obsessed because the princesses aside from a couple really cool ones didn't really do anything like mulan did a lot of stuff okay she saved china but what did cinderella do what did princess aurora do what did snow white do they they just kind of had bad things happen to them and then they danced in a circle and then a bunch of animals began to sing to them and that was the movie. There you go, I've told you 90% of all princess movies. Okay, okay, so the princesses that I made this time, if I could remember them, I should probably have a list out, but I'm not very organized and I'm not going to be. I made The Little Mermaid, I made Cinderella, I made Mulan, I made Princess Jasmine, I made uh, Princess Tiana. There's one more, isn't there? Oh, I made Snow White. So those were the princesses that I make today. And I just want to address something. I, I want to talk about Cinderella for a little bit, okay? Uh, can we just admit that the prince had a bit of a foot fetish? Like, he really, really did not care about Cinderella. You know what happened? Because you know what? If he danced with her all night, you think he w And he fell in love, okay? That was the thing. He danced with this one woman, this only woman. And, you know, he was like, I'm in love. I have to find her. You think he'd remember her face, right? So why the fuck does he only remember her by her feet and he goes around the entire kingdom touching all these ladies feet to double check uh mm, no that's not cinderella he had a foot fetish and i i can't watch cinderella again because it's so weird man i think it's pretty fitting that we turn the disney princesses into sims because i feel like they are sims they fall in love in like two seconds okay they get married so quickly and at first when i was a kid i was like this makes sense and then i grew up and i was like this makes makes no sense. And then, now that I've played The Sims a lot more than I should have, I'm like, this makes sense again, but because they're Sims, they see each other. Their lives are like fruit flies, okay? They're gonna die tomorrow, and they're like, you, marry me, I'm in love, and then they're happy. Also, I feel like Disney throws around the term princess very loosely. Like, they just see a pretty girl in a Disney movie, they're like, princess, despite the fact that some of them aren't even related to royalty. Where does that even come from? I mean, I feel like Beauty and the Beast, she was just a peasant, and then she married the beast was the beast a prince actually that kind of explains everything cinderella married a prince that made her a princess ariel was the daughter of neptune so that made her a princess was it neptune or, or am i thinking about spongebob jasmine was a princess was shang from mulan a prince because if she married shang then that makes her a princess so maybe they are princesses can i backtrack on everything i just said I, i'm gonna do that ignore the last bit okay i'm i could cut it out but you know <laughs> not to Today. I'm very giddy today. I feel very good. This is a good voiceover. I'm very happy with it so far. But yeah, I find it considerably unhealthy the amount of obsession that I had over Disney princesses. Like, I fixated on that shit. I was like, Disney, Disney princesses, me, 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 that's me. And I remember one time in kindergarten, I decided I'm gonna be Cinderella for Halloween. Okay, I want that beautiful blue dress. I almost said green. I know it was blue, but my mouth really wanted to go green. And I was so so ready and I showed up and I was like man I look amazing and then my friend at the time my best friend shows up with an even better Cinderella dress than mine and she had the blonde wig to make that weird cheese shape thing that she's got going on it actually looks more like a bread roll doesn't it anyway she showed up and totally one-upped me okay if this was the Met Gala 
Gala, she won. Is the Met Gala a competition? Anyway, I spent the rest of that Halloween incredibly jealous and I'll never forget that. So every time I think about Cinderella, I think about my friend Ashley just fucking showing me up like it's nobody's business. Have you guys ever read the original Disney stories though? Like the grim version of them? Well, the original version, I guess these versions are the Disney versions. But anyway, I think I remember Ariel's story was really tragic because it turned out that like nobody loved her at the end and she cried so much she turned into sea foam and then withered away into the ocean. Where's that version? Why can't we have that in the remakes? Also, I kind of remember The Little Mermaid scarring me for life a little bit because it's a very wholesome movie, but at the end of the movie where she turns back to a human and then gets married to the prince, Prince Eric, which by the way, he's a looker. Top 10 anime boyfriends right there. But anyway, I remember crying as a kid because I was like, but what about Flounder? She just abandoned Flounder. <laughs> I cared way more about the fish. Prince Eric married a fish, by the way. What happened in Snow White, by the way? I just remember she lived in the middle of nowhere with seven men and then she ate an apple and almost died. It's like a cautionary tale for vegans. I should have made Raja. I forgot to make, I okay, I forgot to make Princess Jasmine's tiger and I could have made it a cute little adorable cat and I didn't. That's a retrospective thing. Oopsie. Also, if you're wondering which one of these Disney princess movies are my favorite, you probably would have guessed it, it is Aladdin. And does it have anything to do with my heritage? Probably yes. But I absolutely love Aladdin. I think it has the best music. Robin Williams is in it. So you know what? You could already go fuck yourself on that department. And it was just the most fun, in my opinion. My humble opinion, honestly. But yeah, sometimes when I was a kid and people would ask where I was from, I would say Agrabah, even though it's not a real place. And it actually translates in Arabic to scorpion. And people would believe it. And I found that to be the funniest shit ever. You know what I forgot? I forgot that they had 3D animated princess movies. Like, I, you know what? And it's a really good movie and I feel ashamed. I forgot that Tangled exist. existed. I forgot that Tangled existed. Exists? Grammar. Grammar? I forgot that Brave was a movie. I've never actually seen it. Is she a princess? I know she's Scottish. I have, okay, I, you know what? I famously have the worst Scottish accent. I can't do it. I absolutely can't do it and my boyfriend always makes fun of me and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? It sounds exactly like yours. Cause he could do a really good one, but he's like, no, that sucks. And then he laughs at me. And I know he's like a quarter Scottish or something like that, but it's like, why can't I be like you? Call me Shrek cause I put an onion down my neck. Why is that bad? Why can't I correct this? I live in Scotland and I'm from Glasgow. Like it's just, what, they make noises that I'm physically incapable of making. And sometimes, cause I, I speak Arabic and there are certain noises that don't exist in English. And like I try to teach my boyfriend and he physically cannot make those noises. It's kind of funny. But now I'm on the receiving end of that and it just, it's not funny anymore. It's only funny when I do it to my boyfriend. I can dish it, but I can't take it. What's your favorite accent and why can't you replicate it? Has Mulan actually killed anybody? Can I just ask that question? Cause she was in the Chinese military and though she didn't physically like stab anybody, but she one, she is trained to kill and two, she started an avalanche, which but in return did kill a lot of people. So did she indirectly kill them or did she directly kill them? Like if you threw her in court, what would the verdict be? Is she guilty? That's been on my mind for a very long time. That's kind of why I want to watch Brave even though I haven't seen it. Cause all I know about her is that she has glorious hair, that she's Scottish and she has a bow and arrow like Robin Hood. And obviously a bow and an arrow together make a weapon. Does she kill people? Cause if she is, I want to watch it right away. But if she doesn't, then I, I might skip it. Maid Marian from Robin Hood's a Disney princess, isn't she? She's a princess, right? She's the furry princess. Meg from Hercules deserves to be a princess, but no, Hercules isn't royalty. He's just the son of Zeus. Why isn't she considered a Disney fucking princess? Is it because she's too cool? Is that it? Is it they don't want to invite her because they know in their annual Disney princess reunions every fucking year, that's what annual means. She's gonna show up and she's too cool and all the other princesses are gonna get jealous of her and then they're not gonna have a good time because they're all gonna be sat in a corner gossiping about Meg. Poor Meg. She deserves better. Okay, I know that in the movie Cinderella was made out to be the little Miss Nicey. She looks like she would have a stick up 
her ass. I don't know why I always got weird vibes from Cinderella. I remember when I was a kid, my parents bought me Cinderella 2, thinking that was Cinderella 1, so the only Cinderella movie I watched was the second one, the fucking straight-to-DVD garbage. And everybody talked about the famous shoe scene and all this other stuff, and I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? That never happened. So I was like, I kept re-watching Cinderella 2 thinking I missed something. But it turns out I just had Cinderella 2. I thought I would share that story. Anyway, we're basically at the end of this creative sim, so there's gonna be a little montage at the end that I made up so I can you show, you know, blah, 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 showcase all the princesses. I talk really fast at the end because I don't want to run out of time and get cut off by anything. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay hydrated. Bye-bye.